I hope everyone is doing great. Thanks for choosing GIS Madras. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to download list for imagery from Boonidhi website for free. So before proceeding, let us have a quick view of this list for imagery. So this image has been provided by the National uh, Remote Sensing Center, India, and the satellite is Resosat 2. It is using list for sensor, linear imaging, self-scanning sensor. The swath is around 70 kilometers. You can see the best is uh, the resolution, which is 5.8 meters, and the repetitive is uh, five days once it is coming back, and the number of band is uh, three. You can see here, green, red, and NIR. So let us see how to download this image. Open your browser and type in Boonidhi. Now hit the button search. So this is the web address. I will be sharing the web address in the description. Please check it out. Now click on this Boonidhi home. So this is how the page looks like. Here a lot of data sets available. In this video we are just particularly going to look into this 4 5.8 meter imagery. So click on Boonidhi browse in order. Now once again click on Boonadi browse in order. So this is the home page for downloading the data sets. So you can see here as per the Indian Space uh, Policy 2023 satellite data of 5 meter and coarser is now available, available for free for all users. If you want a finer than 5 meters it is open for government entities and priced for non-government entities. So you can if you have any other queries you can ask Bunidi at nrsc.gov.in. Now click OK. A slide, and you can see the option login. So if you have already created an account, please do skip this apart. If you are new, we'll be seeing how to create a first register yourself. So you can see if you don't have an account, you can hit the button sign up. A separate page will be opening up. Now you can use a scroll to because uh, this is not showing up for me. So I am using this control plus scroll to view it properly. So here we need to fill up our full name, gender, login ID and password. Let us do that. So now I have put in my full name, uh, login ID. Finally, we are going to put the password. So after putting in the password, go to the option address. So here we need to fill some few details about our country organization. Let us do that. So we are going to put in the organization and department name. So here I am not in any organization. I am going to put nil. Department I am going to give a geography. So my background is geography. And destination is a researcher. And finally let us put on the address. So here also we are going to use the scroll button. Uh, that is control plus scroll. Because you can see it is uh, some part of this uh, information we need to provide which is coming under this uh, thing. And yeah. Let us fill it up. So I have put the state, uh, then city, then pin code. So we go on to the next option, contact details. So here we are going to put in our phone number and email ID. Let me make it bigger. Yeah. And finally the email ID. So after putting in the email ID, we go on to the next option, submit registration. And here we need to enter the capture text. So after entering the captions, hit the button submit and we need to finally agree that uh, uh, user terms, license and agreement. So you can go to this and after that I accept and proceed. So it is saying phone is empty. Let us uh, click OK. Contact details. So I don't have any other phone number. So I'm going to input first country code and put on my phone number once again. Now I'm going back to the submit registration submit finally proceed let us wait for a few seconds so the register you can see here is the user id for sign in please click the links uh, sent to your email id so we need to do that now click ok we go back to the email id finally i have received the link so it took me around 15 minutes to receive this link so let's uh, click here sorry let us open and you can see click here we have been provided with the user ID. So this is what the user ID we have given. Let me copy it and let us click here. 
your email has been verified and the account is activated now so please log in so let me close in yeah now just go back to the uh, browse and order to the previous part now let me increase the yeah let it be in the hundred percentage so this is how the home page looks like so we have already created the account so let us sign in first by hitting the button login here let us put our username and password and hit the button login so you can see here you can select any among this uh, so I'm going to use uh, urban development rural development cartography auto security disaster management so you can choose any hit the button submit now let us see how to uh, select our area of interest and how to download the data sets so you can find the option location in the search criteria location so here you can uh, type in your area of interest so my area of interest is Hyderabad Telangana India when I uh, select Hyderabad Telangana India you can see automatically the latitude longitude has been updated now click on this uh, place mark icon automatically uh, our area of interest will be shown in the display you can increase this uh, rectangle by uh, increase for example now it is uh, 10 kilometers you can change it to 20 kilometers the area will be increasing like this you can likewise increase and also you can see uh, that uh, you can upload shape files by uh, clicking user shape file you can upload your uh, you can select the file and upload the file otherwise you can also use the existing shape file which is uh, being provided by the boon nidhi website you can see a lot of shape files is available for india okay now we just go back to the location option after choosing our area of interest we are going to set the date range so here I am going to set the date range from 2023 Feb first week to 28th May 2024 after selecting the date range come to the filters here I am going to select open data in resolution I am going to choose 5 meter to 25 meter come down in the imaging spectrum we are going to choose optical because this is uh, optical imagery and satellite satellite is resource sat 2 and come down the sensor type is list 4 that we have already seen it in the uh, introduction part so in the products and themes you can leave it as it is and come down to the option open data satellite sensor you can see open data direct download click and you can find the resource set to list 4 now hit the button submit the data sets will be coming up so this is how it looks like let us have a look at this images so you can see a lot of images are there first you can see some options available over here so I is the information about the data that is about the imagery you can see the satellite sensor date of pass likewise you can see the informations next is you can see image extent so how much the image extent extent you can click on this and you can see so this much area of the image has been extended and next comes publish on map so the image will be published over here so yeah as you can see here it is being published now you can also have a look at the image separately by clicking on this image you can see how it looks like you can see the image like this you can see if you want to download those image you can see the option add to cart 
select add to cart so it has been added to the uh, open data cart let us go to the top you can also filter for example if you want it uh, if you want it in august month you can type in august so the related data will be coming up likewise you can also put on some numbers or id you can search much more easily so next option is cart so you can see here so you can see the option download over here so you confirm cart to activate please confirm the cart to activate download okay so let me confirm the your cart has been confirmed if any other products are tagged as the delayed download the same will be fetched in 2 to 24 hours okay so now we can download this download this image by clicking it so you could see here the download has been started and the estimated time is around three minutes so let us wait for it so it will be downloaded in a minute so the image is going to be downloaded so let us open it in the file manager so now let us extract this image so it has been extracted successfully so you can see the band 2 band 3 and band 4 these are the three bands which are available you can also check the data about this imagery in band meta now in order to composite the image or layer stack this image in QGIS you can see the option raster and in raster you can see the option miscellaneous and in under miscellaneous you can see the option merge so here we can just uh, directly browse for the data by add files so here I am going to select band 2, 3 and 4 sorry band 4 let me click open so we have uh, successfully opened it select all now after selecting it go back Please check. Please uh, check that uh, place each input file in a separate band. If you want, you can save it to any other location by using this option. Otherwise, you can keep it as a temporary file. Now I'm going to run it. Let us see the results. It may take a couple of minutes. So we got the results. Let me close it. Here, let me change the uh, combination properties. So band three is nothing but NIR then 2 is red on a screen so let me apply you can see this is a kind of false color composite you can see the clarity of the image so this is uh, much better than the sentinel image clarity as it is a uh, 5.8 meter so thanks for watching if you have any doubts please do ask in the comment section goodbye everyone take care Please do subscribe.